and then place the washer on like this. That looks surprisingly... This is quite light. Hello and welcome to another Nihongo Gamer video. Quite excited because Brooke has sent me this to show you today. It's a ball. And what's exciting about a ball? Well, as you know, I'm into arcade sticks on this channel and I like to play a lot of fighting games. And there's only one actual place on the stick that your hand never really lets go of. So you press various buttons and of course that's important and then your wrist rests on this part of the stick and that's also important that it doesn't hurt your wrists. But the only part that I feel that you generally never lose contact with on the stick is the ball. Now, they're not advertising this as some sort of high performance ball that actually makes you better at the game or anything. The main point about this is that instead of the ball like this one, which is kind of a clear plastic with jelly bubble things on the inside. I just found this at a shop in Akihabara. You can actually get one of these from Brook. It's actually made of wood. It says Brook Fighter Ball on the side of the box here. Brook on the other side and it is apparently 35 millimeters. And in fact, there's two different versions of this ball. There's this one, which is the rosewood ball, but there's also a beech wood ball, which is slightly lighter in color. Just to be clear, I didn't buy this product myself. Brooke actually sent it to me directly so that I could make this video for you. It's not really a review. It does have my opinions in it. That being said, of course, all opinions are my own and I haven't been instructed to say anything specific about it. I can't get it out of the box. And I'll give you some close-ups in a moment as well so you can see it nice and close up. But this is the packaging it comes in, a little piece of styro foam. I don't actually know how to get it out, but try it. Here we go. Ah. Ah, that's interesting. Okay, well, first of all, you can see it's quite dark because it's a rosewood ball, but ah, this is really quite nice, actually. In different lights, you can see the grain shines at a sort of different color. I was not expecting that. I was expecting it to be sort of a dark brown color the whole way through, but as the light shines on it, it becomes a very nice light color. On the base of the ball, it's got a little hole, so you can actually screw it into a jack a jack, a lever like this for your arcade stick. And on the top, it says Brook. So you can see it nice up and close. This is the ball on the top. It says Brook. It's actually branded into the ball top. So it's actually, you can actually feel it as you rub your finger over the top here. And it has a screw hole here for plugging it into the lever. As you have the light shining on different parts of it, it actually kind of seems to change color in the light. That's really nice. I don't think I've ever had anything that was made of rosewood and is also ball shaped. Another thing I'm noticing now is that the grain of the wood runs along the horizontal axis. So it's similar to the same axis that the, the Brook logo is written on. And then from the side, you can actually see the grain, the, the circles that indicate kind of how old the wood is, I suppose. It's a very pretty looking ball. Just looking at it, something that's really nice about this ball is that it's kind of got a story because this is actually a living object when you think about it, or it was a living object. It was a tree and it lived for a number of years and that's where these individual circles have come from. So every time you buy one of these balls, you know, it's got, it's come from a specific tree which had a specific lifespan and maybe it took, you know, 10 years of growing or maybe it took a hundred years of growing, whatever it is, it's got like the history is imprinted into the ball. And that's kind of cool to have an object that has seen years as opposed to a piece of plastic, which again, perfectly functional, but it doesn't have a lot of character to it. So if you're going for the unique aspect, I suppose it's got that going for it. But before we attach it to the stick, there's one more object in the box and it seems to be this. Oh, I was not expecting this. Inside the packaging here, there's actually a plastic sleeve and another pla black plastic washer, which is also a standard Sanwa lever part. But this is the part that I'm most interested in. This is a sleeve like this one, this black plastic sleeve, but it's made of wood and it is significantly thicker than the one that you would normally have here. So just for the comparison's sake, you can see this is a standard black plastic washer. It's about, I don't know, a millimeter or two millimeters in thickness. But by comparison, this is the Brook wooden dust cover and it is significantly thicker. Maybe, I don't know, four millimeters? three or four millimeters. On the front, it's got the Brook logo and it says, we back you up. That's kind of their little tagline. And then on the back, we've got the just plain grain of the wood. Very nice looking indeed. And because it's not spherical shaped, it doesn't have quite the same effect as the ball top. When we were rotating the ball top, you could see like the lightness 
and darkness was changing. I mean, obviously it's just got lightness and darkness built into the wood, but just looking at it from different angles, you can see when you look at it from this angle, you see a darker color, but when you look at it head on, you see a much lighter color. Man, rosewood, what a wood. But now it's the moment you've all been waiting for. We should actually put it on this stick and see what it looks like. Now, I don't think it's going to look perfect with actually any of the sticks that I've got. I think it'll look quite nice on the Victrix Pro. I think it'll also look quite nice on sticks that are red. I'm not sure how it's going to look on sticks like the Razer Pantera, which I've got here in blue. But the thing is, it's not a brown solid color. It's brown wood. And because it has that texture to it, I think it's gonna be very specific which sticks are actually gonna look quite nice with this. If I had maybe an inlay here, which was of a wooden texture, I don't know why I would do that. Or if I had a stick that was actually made of wood. So this is especially great if you're making your own arcade stick from a piece of wood and you're actually creating the whole shell yourself. If it's not something plasticky and black plasticky and white plasticky and red plasticky looking like this, then it would probably look significantly more or less out of place. But what I'll do is I'll attach it to various different sticks to show you what it looks like. May as well start with the Mad Cat since it's up here. Let's pull this off. If you're interested what this is, it's a link. It's called the Freak Mods Link and it makes it easy to take the stick off like so. But of course, if you want... To... Oops. <clears throat> what I was trying to say is it makes it quite easy to take it off the stick But if you want to take the ball top off the lever portion You've got to actually use well you don't have to if it's tightly on there You need to use an allen key. Where is my allen key? Is there one in here? So let's pull the ball top off and first things first I'll install it with the black plastic washer the original one Hmm doesn't look quite as natural as I was maybe expecting or hoping. I thought maybe it would look a little better because this stick is red, but as you can see, it doesn't look like it really fits on, on this stick. Holding it now, it's quite a surprise to have a wooden texture. Interesting that it's also got a ridge where the, the Brook logo is here. I'll also try it here with the wooden washer, which I don't know why it's so thick. What? Oh, interesting. Okay, I can't try it with the wooden washer because this lever portion is too thick. It's got a sleeve built into it. In which case, I'll show you what this washer looks like on other sticks that don't have a Freak Mods link attached to it. It's going to take that off there. And the next one I want to try, now my Razor Pantera is actually completely stock. It's got the original Sanwa stick. It's got the original Sanwa buttons. I haven't done any modifications to it whatsoever. And the nice thing about the original Pantera is that if you press this button, you can open it up nice and quickly. This is not a, a tour of arcade sticks and how they work or anything, but this is going to make it significantly easier to install this ball top. Get the tools out of here. Unfortunately, it comes with all the tools you need. Spin, spinneret, weave out the thread and the ball tops come off. Take the sleeve off. Actually, we don't need to use this either. This is the original dust cover. What I want to try now is the Brook ball top with this wooden dust cover. Plug this in first as we back you up. Whoa, that is really weird looking. And we'll slide this on top. All right, that also looks pretty out of place. But again, it's not probably what you would expect. This is not the first combination you might think to try. Doesn't look wrong, but it also does seem a little out of place. I'll tell you the other thing is that it really does feel like the dust cover is there. Your, your, your hand is now resting on that dust cover. If you hold the stick like this, or if you hold the stick like this, and that, that may be a good thing or a bad thing. If you're going to use the wooden dust cover, which you don't have to, it just comes with the set, then you definitely feel like your wrist, your, your hand is resting much closer to the ball. All right, that's the Razer Pantera, but we're going to also try the Razer Pantera Evo. Slightly less expensive version of the Razer Pantera, even though I think in some places it's more expensive. Anyway, the point is, it's it's of a cheaper construction than the original Pantera. Let's see how this one looks with the stick here. And keep in mind, this one has sort of gold gunmetal buttons on it. The thing about rosewood is I don't know how hard it is. I imagine this will probably get dented quite quite easily. So I'm gonna to have to be quite careful with this because once you notice the dent, it's gonna be kind of frustrating, I imagine. Slide that on there. Oh, I think that looks a little bit more natural than on the Razer Pantera. Not very natural, but it looks a little bit more natural. Feels light. It looks like it's going to weigh less 
than this plastic ball. This is actually kind of, it's actually kind of weighty, this original plastic ball. It's quite light. So in fact, it will probably slightly change performance when you're playing the game. If you want something that has a little bit less inertia, Huh, hadn't thought about that. All right, one more stick that I think is quite popular. Hori R-A-P, the four, the Kai, or the V. They're all vaguely the same shape as far as I'm aware. Some of them have like a touchpad. This is why I usually recommend those sticks that are easy to open because taking these screws off is a bit of a pain in the pain in the bottom. Not impossible though. And certainly not something you should be thinking of if you've, you're trying to like save money because you just want to get your first stick. So many bloody screws. Take this plate out and just like the Razor Pento, I'm just gonna have to hold this in place with a screwdriver and then pull the bolt top off. I'm hoping this is gonna go well because it's red. So first we'll slide this on here and then on top of that we'll put the Brook Fighter Ball and check that out. Actually, I think on this stick it seems to blend in better, especially because it's got quite a busy design on the front and also because the stick is red, which is closer to the hue of the brown and the dark browns and the reds of the of the rosewood ball top. For sure, the, the beech wood, that would probably stand out even more. Though, just like the Pantera, if we are using the thicker dust cover, you definitely will feel it and notice it, so do consider using the, the plastic dust cover if you think that would bother you. The other thing is that if you're not using this dust cover and you're using the wooden dust cover, it means that you can't use this shaft cover because this shaft cover is too thick to go with this dust cover, which means that if you're used to feeling the stick have a certain girth, let's say, underneath your, you know, between your fingers, then you're gonna feel like, oh man, my stick is really slim today. And that's because the shaft cover isn't on it. And sometimes that just makes a stick feel cheap. All right, so a little bit unexpected, but this was probably my favorite combination so far. The rosewood, the sort of red tones of the rosewood really matched this bright red stick quite nicely actually. Could also help that these buttons are a nice bright blue color. I changed I changed these out. They used to be, I think they were Kuro, black Kuro buttons that used to be in here. And I think the just bright hues and reds and blues, they seem to make this not stand out so much as a bit of a weird addition. I'm really liking that it's light. But the last stick that we need to try is in fact the stick that I've probably been using the most frequently over the past year. It's the Victrix Pro FS. This thing is made out of machined aluminium, but it's also tinted black, or what would you call this, gunmetal gray or space gray? I don't know what to call this. But what I'm hoping is that the neutral aspect of this stick being a sort of dark, dark gray, I think that's actually going to help the wood kind of blend in better, but let's try it out. I'm not gonna use this blue shot. I've got a blue version of the Freak Mods link. I'm not going to use that one. I'm going to use the silver one because I think this neutral color is going to help it. Slide this on the ball top like so, and then place the washer on like this. And ha ha, that looks surprisingly exactly exactly what I thought it was gonna look like. Just so you can get a good look at that, I'm quite happy with the way that it looks because in the right light, it is a lighter color, but in general, the darker browns and the darker orange tones of the redwood go nicely with this stick, which is already a very dark space gray color. And it leaves the color, it leaves the bright, vibrant colors to, to the buttons, even though these are buttons that I put in myself. I quite like the feel of having bright, vibrant colors on the buttons, but then a dark, subdued kind of brownish hue on the ball top. I'm actually quite happy with that. It's so amazing how just getting anything in space gray just makes it go with anything. All right, so quite impressed with the way that this looks. I'm gonna be honest, it looks exactly how I imagined it was going to look, and I'm quite happy about that because the other sticks they didn't look quite how I imagined. I knew that they would look unusual but I think they actually looked weirder than I was expecting. This surprisingly works really really well. Now it's sad that I don't have a stick that's completely made of wood because I think probably like the ideal place to try it would be on a DIY stick that you make yourself out of wood. Now there's actually one major point of concern that I haven't mentioned until now, but it's the fact that it has the word brook engraved into the top of the ball top. Now I think that looks really cool, but in general, when I hold the stick 
when I'm playing on arcade stick. I mean, I'm sure everyone has different ways of holding it. Personally, I hold it like this, which I think is quite common, and I have my thumb on top of the stick. And the only thing that I've noticed about ball tops is that on this plastic ball top, I think this is a Seimitsu ball top, actually. The way that they manufacture these ball tops is they have to hold the plastic somewhere, right? And I think the way that they do it is they hold the ball top here at the tip and then they hold it at the base. Really, I really don't know how they do it. But the thing is, as a part of the manufacturing process, you end up with a tiny half a millimeter little nub here on the top of the ball. And as a result, that actually cuts away at your skin. And when I play for the past, I've been using this ball top for I think, I don't know, a year or two years. This one slowly cuts away at my thumb and causes dead skin to build up on the top of the stick and so I actually have to like wipe it off the stick every few days or so. It's kind of gross. It's very difficult to see but I will try to zoom in. You can see right there at the top of the ball there's a part that is a little bit less transparent. You can see there it's just very very slight even from the side. From the side you can barely see it at all but it is it is there. So even though the nub here on the top of this Seimitsu ball top is very 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 slight it's like a tenth of a millimeter in size it does cause sort of dead skin to build up on the stick and it's fine you just wipe it off it's not a big deal but it's something that i did notice and i think if i were making my own ball top i would just make sure that it's perfectly smooth on the top but for now what i do really like about this ball top is that it looks nice it feels light which means that it also is very very fast and I think that does affect when you play. If you want a stick that, you know, doesn't feel sluggish, your options really are to change the spring in here to be a heavier spring, but then it means you need to push harder for the ball to move. Or the other one is to get a ball top that's not as heavy. And definitely this rosewood ball feels nice and light. So there you have it. This is the Brook Fighter ball top. What I do plan to do is spend a little more time actually playing it. This has been good fun looking at it and discussing how it looks. But something I want to do, especially while I'm playing on stream for maybe the next few weeks, is I'll try this ball top out and then I'll actually be able to let people know how I'm feeling about this stick so you can actually check out the live streams. The link is in the description box below. It's twitch.tv forward stroke Nihongo Gamer, stream like two or three times a week. But then after two or three weeks of trying it, what I'll do is I'll probably update the pinned comment on this video and let you know whether those things have actually turned out to be an issue for me. So now I want to know which stick do you think looked the best? From this video, I tried this on the Victrix Pro, the Razer Pantera, the Pantera Evo, and also an H, an H? The Hori RAP, I believe it is a four. I'm not 100% sure. I personally think that it looks best on the Victrix Pro. It looks quite good on the Hori RAP, but I know that there are many, many color variants and also tops people have customized the tops of their Razer Panteras or their other sticks that they've got and maybe you think you could make it look better with a certain combination of buttons. I don't know if there are button tops that look like wood as well or maybe you've got a specific design that you've drawn for the top of your arcade stick that you think would look go particularly well with wood. But also let me know in the comments if you've heard of a stick that's actually made of wood that would actually look quite good with this. I'd be quite happy to hear about that. It'll be hard for me to check pictures on YouTube so if you could post images on the Discord group in the Discord group for Nihongo Gamer. Link is in the description below, or you can tweet it to me, at Nihongo Gamer. But that's all for now. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and make sure you click that little notification bell. Apparently that will let you know when new videos go up. This channel doesn't really have a very specific schedule for making videos, so you'll probably have to rely on the notification bell until I can think of a, a proper schedule that I like. Click the like button if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you all next time. Bye.